Hello everybody, my name is Katemo, welcome back for another video of Old World, we're going to continue this series. In the last video, I had another problem, boys, with the video again, it got corrupted. Uh, at the end of the video itself, it got corrupted, so hopefully this time around, the goddamn video doesn't get corrupted, because I swear if it does, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind, alright? The last thing I need is a video to get corrupted. All right, I, I'm getting tired of having to edit out stuff like that. So hopefully it's all right this time around. We went ahead and created a new city in the last video and stuff like that. Uh, that I had to do an improvised outro and hopefully I don't have to do that this time around. And I can actually have a proper 30 minute video for you guys set up, you know, for once. So Rome looks like Rome. I didn't even notice that the, uh, beforehand, but Rome actually has a city right here, which is Capua. So they, uh, the Romans actually settled really near me, big time. Hold on, so on right here, King Constantine. So he has new pictures and everything. Now obviously, uh, there was an update to the uh, leaders uh, traits, the leaders mod, and it updated the photos and everything. So now we got brand new photos as well. Uh, Prince Elena, they look different, basically. So, King Constantine definitely looks a lot different. That's for sure. But it, he looks pretty cool, actually. For 63 years old, he looks like an 80 years old, though. Holy shit, he looks uh, kind of uh, old. But, um, Queen Consort Agatha is pretty nice. I like these photos, boys. I like these photos. Uh, Antonina, well, she's something. And uh, Princess Elena on my editor. So, all right. Uh, I think we can just end the turn. But I like these two photos. Uh, these new photos and stuff like that. It kind of looks cool. All right. So, Calogera family has converted to Judaism. Byzantine is now a ch uh, has now a truce with the Thracians. Which is us, basically. We got something. Stories and souvenirs. Uh, scouts encounter an expedition of strangers following a similar route they call themselves cartesians okay so the cartesians boys keep the civil uh keep let's keep it civil boys we can't do the other thing so end of an era it looks like oh, oh we uh, i think constantine just died boys our, our uh, king might might have died let's see what is this end of an era yeah bell rings mourners fill the street King Constantine the Good has died. It is the end of an era, and all of Byzantine pauses, pauses to honor the contribution of our fallen ruler. The reign of Queen Elena the New has begun. So she, we have our new queen right here, 24 years old. She's the new queen, boys. Uh, long live the new queen. There she is, boys. We got a brand new queen and everything. Balance of power, what is this? Let's see what we got right now. So both the the, uh, the two families basically have suffered labor uprisings in the last month and they come to us seeking insight. While they do not wish to surrender all authority, they need the court's help to organize their uh, affairs. What shall we do? Uh, we will assume control reluctantly. That would give us plus an opinion for both of them and would give us some science and uh, money. Uh, or they must clean up their own messes, which g still would give us a lot of opinion. So it's either vassalage or centralization. Now I'm gonna do centralization. It's gonna it's gonna give us some. Uh, there we go, some uh, science and stuff like that. Year thirty one. If I divide that by three, hold on. Yeah, so it's year thirty three. We're gonna be able to uh, actually get a new unit, boys. It looks like. I'm gonna go for a year 33 boys so uh we are almost done uh, with this worker for one more turn he's gonna be good so it's gonna be interesting now we've got a brand new king right dinner with rivals a delegation from Kardash is sent to help a minor dispute that is brewing between your two nations so we can choose between uh basically the romans with they which uh claudius obviously they have a brand new king as well uh, over there so claudius or uh, Adverse Bal, whatever his name is. Now, I don't know who they want. So they're cautious and they're cautious. I kind of want to go for the Romans. They're really close to us. I'm not entirely sure where they are, though. But uh, I feel like the Romans would be the best option. 
Let's be realistic. Everyone knows Ludia is unbeatable. Let's go for uh, the Romans. I'm going to try to uh, go with the Romans. There's nothing the Carthaginians can really do to me. They're really far away. I want to please the uh, Romans right now since they're really close to me. They've got a, st a city that's literally uh, right close to my capital. So we could probably take that city out, but I don't want to do that right now. Choose city, governor, Constantinople. Yeah, that was my leader, uh, Constantine himself, the king, the former king, was the governor of this of the capital but not anymore uh we got theodora that we can choose her or she's already tutoring the Ferrero family though so we're gonna keep her there that's uh, her our queen i think the duchess antonina right she might as well do something so we're gonna give her the governor status uh choose an ambition the next one stockpile 2000 stuff like that that's gonna be a lot why would we do that in that colonization desired we could do that, I guess. There we go. Uh, next uh, unit. So let's start with the units, boys. We do. We were working on that, I guess, right? We need to work on the uh, the roads right here. Yeah, the roads. Uh, we were working on the roads for the north. But I feel like we need to work on stuff for the new city right here. Yeah. We need to work on the, the stuff for the new city. So let's send our worker right here. And add, uh, no, let's not add a road right here. We're actually gonna, we don't have anything to do with him. He's already working. Uh, I'm actually gonna send you right, uh, right here, buddy, because I do need to be careful right now. I need to make sure that nobody attacks us and stuff like that. So I need to have units uh, up and ready right now. Uh, same thing, or you guys, you need to heal up big time. Uh, do, who, who basically lost, oh no, nobody lost their general because he, Constantine retired before dying. That's right. I, f uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, let's put my military units right here. Next unit is going to be my scout. So my scout, I'm just going to send him up north, boys. Right there. There we go. Just uh, continue to uncover a bunch of stuff. Harvest the horses that are right there. We don't have any more decisions that we can do. Legitimacy went down big time because obviously our king had a lot of legitimacy. We still don't have anybody famous in our family. But Prince Justin does have a child, uh, Maria, which is interesting. It's my niece right there. And a very interesting uh, thing right there. So he's my next heir, uh, Justin, as for now, because we don't have a, a son just yet or somebody. We don't have a, anybody, an heir. So 28 years old, we got plenty of time to, to have one, that's for sure. Uh, I think we can end the next turn, so uh, to the next turn, let's go ahead and do it. We do have a new research that we can do. Uh, we went ahead and finished military drill, which is giving us barracks and urban improvements. And uh, we uh, we got a bunch of stuff from that. So now we can go for rhetoric, monetism, citizenship, or stone cutting. Citizenship would give us the courthouse, which would allow us to construct stuff that would give us more civics Prof professional army that would be good uh, money is uh, politism so a choice between these two uh, I don't I don't know exploration epics let's just go for rhetorics for now it seems like the closest one is four years only uh, four turns basically uh, you are just gonna con you're just gonna go there yeah, we need to see what we can build in this city right here. I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, we can probably fig figure something out. There we go. Let's build a road right there. Uh, you can uh, start building roads. Oh, shit. No, add a road right there. There we go. Add a road. And uh, you're going to go ahead and with that road, it doesn't connect the two cities. We're going to have to go back here and connect the roads. And connect a road to these two cities together there we go that's gonna uh, do fantastic like that what about you festival can i actually fast you up okay uh what about you guys two turns constantine right uh, constantinople right there is done with the festival uh so i don't know oh, or was it the treasury i think it was a treasury minimum culture we got to be a strong culture so we can't go to treasury three council we could probably get the council or more festival i don't know boys i think uh decree no let's just get the council then 
Yeah, let's get uh, ourselves a console right here. That should be good enough. There we go. Next unit. Let's see what we got. So just a plain worker right now. He, uh, they were telling me to go for barracks right here. Which would not be a bad idea. But we're already gaining plenty of actually military strength for stuff like that. I think I kind of am tempted to just send all my uh, workers over there basically there we go but i can't really do anything with these guys i can promote some of them this guy definitely cannot do anything with him uh you i can probably promote yeah so i am going to promote you focus uh steadfast shield bearer oars band i kind of want to have focus there we go i'm gonna give you focus what about you over here uh you're just gonna uh, you're just gonna sleep. You're gonna sleep. Uh, what about my next unit, which is gonna be my scout? All right, yeah. Let's just go around, boys. See what we got. We continue to uh, look for new stuff, really. New horizon. All right, so we got a new uh, pop-up for the new uh, year turn. Persia is now at peace with the Thracians, which uh, for some reason gives our prince, Justin, our brother, uh, some charisma. I don't know why it gives him that. But I guess that's a good thing. I, I don't exactly know. Or maybe that's not doesn't have anything to do with it. It's just basically because I'm getting two third right now. That's basically what's going on. Yeah, I think it's because my queen is tutoring me. So it's really helping out our uh, the son, uh, Justin. So he's got plus seven of charisma, boys. Seven of charisma. That's a lot. This guy is a beautiful badass. He's got so much charisma. I'm actually going to drop down. I went for a frame low limit. But I think I'm just going to go back to uh, 30 frames, boys. I'm going to go back to 30 frames. Because I think it was too much. Just too much for the game to handle. Alright, so we got that. Uh, diplomatic scandal. Let's see what this is right here. Uh, one of our recent diplomatic missions to Carthage was found smuggling secret documents out of the the king of Carthage, basically his palace. The scandal has caused widespread anti-Byzantine -Bi sentiment across their nation. Oh, you can go fuck yourself. All right, I don't care. Uh, I don't care about you. We will pay to maintain our truce. We won't pay jack shit. Plus two legitimacy if we do that. They're very far away from me. There's no way I can even get close to them. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We'll just go ahead and. Uh, Declare war on them. There you go, boys. We're at war with the Carth uh, with Carthage. Uh, they do have a city nearby. We could probably take them out right there. But it's going to take us a long time to just get there. So what I might do is just convince the Babylonians. Let's go talk to them really quick. And convince them to uh, join us in that fight. Uh, they, can all do, they can basically do all the hard work while we pick up the scraps, really. So, uh, ask to declare a war. Ask to declare a war to... Not the Vendel, the Tracians. We can't do that? Oh, no, there we go. Here we go, right here. Ask to declare a war to the Carthaginians, boys. There we go. It's done now. We asked them to do that. We uh, used some of our civics to do that. So, there goes nothing, I guess. I guess you can go ahead and go right here, right here I guess. Right, you can connect the roads. Is it connected to the city now? I think it is. Yes, it's connected to the city. So the two cities are connected now. Uh, fantastic for that. So now that, that is done, we can actually start working on some mines probably right here, which we are going to do. We're going to do that. Uh, we might as well. So mine. There we go. Uh, Nikia right here is actually uh, done with this thing. It's uh, getting close to population for once it's there, we're going to be able to get for go for a settler. We actually have right now, what do we want to go for? I think next turn we're going to have developing, so we don't need to work on festival anymore. I think what we can work on is definitely forums or treasury. I think we're going to go for uh, forums uh, first. There we go. And can we upgrade it right now? We can't. can't. We can't just yet. So let's just work on the forum and wait it out, I guess. And over here, we're all working on forums everywhere. Since we're at war right now, it seems only fitting that we send our actual uh, units, right, uh, to war. So we're going to send them right there. 
We're going to start sending, uh, marching our units right here. I don't know if I'm going to have enough orders to send them fast enough uh, clear nearby each other. I need them to be uh, to stick together. But uh, we'll try at least. So, yeah, let's try to send all my units there. I don't care about my scout anymore. It's all about my military units. They're the ones who need to move big time. We're going to need that. So how much, what do we uh, have? Slingers? I got two slingers and two spearmen. All right, so that's what I got. We should be all right with that if I ever need uh, another uh, army or something like that. We already know where to go with that. We did gain something right here. What is this? A militia. Oh, so simple militia, just like that. Well, all right. Well, yeah, you're just going to stay here, I guess. You're going to protect our um, our place. So let's just make you sleep. You're going to protect our cities. You're going to be the one protecting our cities and stuff like that. Next unit is going to be my scout. So these guys right here. Right, war with them right now. Let's, uh, let's just go around. We can only do this. We only had one decision to make. So we didn't have too much to do, uh, really. So we're just going to... Keep it easy, really. So, what else do we have? Let's take a look at our dynastic boys. Uh, we still have that uh, going on. We still have our queen. We don't. We still don't have any children. We have to get a children at some point, right? It's gotta happen. Antonina is doing fine. Uh, and uh, the really the the one person, the group, it looks like if we don't hurry, if we don't hurry up, uh, Justin could become the new king, and basically, it's gonna be a new dynasty really it's gonna switch sides so we gotta hurry up and have our own thing going on right here pyramids has been completed by Rome so Romans have the pyramids they are starting to construct the Ishtar gate they're basically building up a bunch of wonders good for them I guess uh, Carthage is at peace with the Numidians interesting their court wishes to gain cooperation of the Babylonians in the campaign against Carthage, they will require some persuasion. Obviously, uh, how do they feel about us? They're not very friendly to us. Uh, they're not uh, enemies as uh, as well, though. So a tribute is in order. We could. Uh, I don't have enough gold, and I can't sell money right now. So I I could just pay them tribute. I have plenty of money that I'm gaining per turn. Uh, let's just pay a tribute to them. There we go. And now they're at war. We're going to just pay them uh, 24 gold per turn or something like that in order for them to be at war with them. So they're basically going to be a big ass distraction while we're coming from the front, uh, from the side and take out the rest, really. I trust the Babylonians to be able to do their job. So let's do it. Uh, let's what is this text tab panel court? Uh, I don't I don't think I have another another one. So. Ambassador Nicholas upgrade courage. Oh, it's just an upgrade for him. Basically. He's gonna okay He's already has plus four charisma. He's in the field of battle right now I don't know if he, he if he is we don't really need discipline per se Although he is minus one discipline So that would kind of be great But uh, courage would be good. I'm gonna give him discipline since Obviously we've got he did he had minus one so at least it's gonna even it out a promotion another promotion your minister queen uh, our queen basically uh, our, our mother approaches the court about the title change she feels overlooked in the court and believes her energy and expertise could be used more productively but well, you're actually helping out my son so my my brother so I don't know what you're talking about uh, overseer of the fields would give her a plus 40 opinion for then she becomes an overseer okay so that gives us food and that gives us uh, civics or steward uh, of the chamber. So that would give us legitimacy. I don't need legitimacy right now, to be honest. Let's just, I, if you want to give us something, you might as well give us civics. There we go. Just give us that. Okay, so that's, I feel like that's done. We don't have too much going on. We got the two, uh, these two workers and we can do stuff with them, I guess. Let's uh, go ahead and build another mine right here. Let's go uh, continue to build on mines, boys. It's just giving us money per go uh, per turn, and also it's making us some steel per turn as well. Uh, you could probably go just go there. There we go, and create some farms. There we go, and that's uh, that's pretty much it for the rest. 
Let's continue on our road right here. Which one is that? That's uh, Sophia the Marksman. That's over here. Let's uh, bring her here. You, uh, which one are you? Princess Consort Agatha. Now Agatha is the, it's the wife of my brother basically. So let's bring them all here. Uh, and uh, you right here, which one are you? This is my uh, my uh, husband right there, the king. So let's bring him here. And uh, we're gonna start moving this guy right here. There we go. This phalanx, we're gonna move him right here, boys. And uh, he's gonna actually fortify right here because I, I don't wanna be too far away from the others. Uh, from the others. So uh, we're gonna be careful on that, uh, on that one, boys. We do have three decisions to make, so let's move up our scout, I guess, and see what we what we got around us. So nothing too much, nothing going on too much right now. So I think we're doing all right uh, in that colonization. I am not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. So that's just a shame, but that's just how it is, I guess. Uh, forum over here, can we actually upgrade it now? Do we? We can't build anything with that, right? Developing culture? Oh, it's not on culture just yet. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Are you on culture? You're on developing. Uh, yeah, you're on developing. So we can probably... Yeah, you can do it. But we need patrons for that. Yeah, I can probably hurry it up. But I'm not going to waste... I don't want to waste civics. I, money I can waste, not civics. It looks like uh, Nicodus didn't last long, boys. He actually died uh, right next turn. So that's a shame. What? Probably died of year uh, of uh, old age. I feel like because he was 57 years old, so I think he died of old age. So that's uh, fine, I guess. There is some Cardassians here. Look at the amount of what level are they? That's a lot of levels right there, boys. That's uh, and that's their king. That's right there too. That's their ar uh, king's army. That's kind of scary. All right, let's just bring Ray, uh, bring uh, this one right here. And uh, we're going to bring our Slinger, uh, yeah, right there. Can he start attacking? I think he can. Yeah, there we go. Start bombarding them. We're starting to bombard the uh, the, uh, the army, boys. I can't do anything with this one, though. We're going to have to stay put unless I do want to attack him. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. If we start attacking him. What if I attack him? Okay, so what if I go here? Oh, I think we're good. Yeah, because he is a slinger and I am a spearman after all. I think we're doing quite a good amount of damage. If we can manage to kill their king, uh, that should be uh, good right away. So there we go. We're actually doing pretty well, boys. Uh, that That's one good thing for us uh, once again. We are in year 39. I forgot year 39 was the year that I was supposed to have my uh, special unit. So uh, here we go. I forgot completely about that, boys. Scout, you can go ahead and go there. But before that, before I, uh, I waste all of that, boys. Immigrants, we do have a pop-up. Immigrants, a uh, rabble of barbarian refugees have settled outside the gates of Nikea. They request our aid in sanctuary. Let them settle. Plus one citizen. Yeah, let them settle. It's plus one citizen right away, boys. So we're, we have five, four population. Here we go. Just like that. Four, uh, four population of Nikea, which means... With that extra uh, thing that I forgot about using, extra bonus, I can now get a settler and um, get a, myself a city. Uh, now, Romans took this part and Babylonia took this part. But I think I can probably take uh, some of these parts right here. Let's see what I can take, really. I, I'm not entirely sure where I could I could go. There is this a city site right there, but it's already taken by the Persians, I feel like. Uh, I want to stick close, so maybe the good idea, the Babylonian went there. I think over either here or here would be a good choice. So let's just go ahead and go to Game Editor, send the one right there, there we go. So where would be a good place to just settle? There's no city site or anything nearby. I just got to find one, I just got to find a city site, so uh, that's might be bad boys. I need a, I need to find another city site. Let's just move around with that settler. We'll find out uh, eventually one of those city sites. 
All right, so let's continue to work around right here and see what we're, we have to deal with. The Sunoka, they're really protected by mountain regions. They protect it big time. So we gotta go around the mountains. It's really well protected, but we're protected as well by the mountains. Uh, it's a really well known region. It feels like we're in Switzerland or something, boys. Big time uh, mountains going on. Uh, let's go for the next turn, I guess. We don't uh, have anything else to do. Persia has begun the construction of the lighthouse and Egypt has begun the construction of a necropolis, boys. Fits for them. Persia, I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll see. So they have begun attacking us a little bit with their slingers. Uh, their actual king's army retreated back uh, towards the city of uh, Carthage, it's uh, of Udiga. I wonder where the actual... They started attacking my scout as well. I gotta be careful. I don't want to lose my scout or anything. Uh, we are going to send, uh, these are my slingers. Yeah, we're going to send them right there and start attacking the other slingers. Uh, if I go there, can I start attacking or I got to go there first? There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And now I can basically send this guy right here, boys, and finish this unit off. There we go. We finished them off, boys. So there's one less unit. There's the king's army right there I was talking to you about. Uh, I can definitely send him here and start attacking as well. Uh, the city cannot bombard me or anything. They do have a good city, a good looking city right there. I think their king's army is about to fall big time. They don't, they're not as strong as they want to think, as they probably think they are. I'm going to definitely destroy them big time. Uh, I'm doing it right, right now. So uh, we are done almost with every city for their forearms and everything. We're just going to continue on this way. Do I not? I don't have enough stone. Let me just buy a stone, the stone that I need, I guess. Let's go, yeah, work on that shit. And I'm gonna wait it out because I wanna see uh, what else can I, I get with the civics. You over here, I guess, what are you, what can we work on right here? I, I wanna go for the forum again, yeah. Uh, we just need stone, really. So that's, if that's all we need for a stone, I can buy some every turn like i've got so much money i can definitely buy buy some easily so yeah that's it that's pretty much it we'll continue to work on the forums right here and what about uh what builders are doing their thing that's good uh they, they're beginning their construction so this is kind of the problem while i'm at war the other civilizations are kind of building up their culture and everything I'm not a fan of that, but uh, we got to do what we got to do, I guess. Judaism right here, founded in year 30. Uh, we got to, we, so we have Judaism. We have the religion over Nikia, I guess. Uh, we could probably get some Jewish disciple, which is probably what I should go for next. Uh, go for the Jewish disciple and get the religion going in every city. So we got a nice little bonus going on, really. Uh, what about you? What is this? We got a governor, basically. That's what it means. Okay. Humble request. What is this? Humble emissaries from Babylonia kneel before the throne. Uh, unable to meet your searching eye. Uh, they have to come to request aid. Future uh, generations of our people will remember your generosity. Please, uh, we have no place to health to turn. We can prove, uh, provide iron. Oh, they just need some stuff to help them out. Yeah, we can help you. You're helping me in the war effort right now. So I think we can provide iron big time. No problem. We've got plenty of iron uh, to spend uh, to to spare. So you, you're good. We're good. We're going to make fans with Babylonia. Uh, next unit is my settler, obviously. So let's move out to the south. Try to uncover anything and, and everything. He's basically becoming a scout at this point. Uh, I want to uncover as much things as possible. So we did uncover Egypt. Invite the travelers to settle in Byzantine. So our troops encounter a group of traveling artisans. They say that their nation of Egypt has already established a great civilization in distant lands, but they wish to see the world. Uh, invite the travelers so they can settle and become farmers, basically. Uh, Queen Eliza becomes vigilant, tell them nothing of us. Well, I could do that to gain the science. Let's just gain a farmer instead, boys. That's much better in that uh, in that perspective. And also, I'm going for coinage right now. I'm not sure if that's... Is that what I was trying to go? Yeah, I was trying to go for that. That's going to take a long time. 17 years, boys, again. 
it's gonna take a while for us to get that uncover as much stuff as possible look like uh this there's two cities nearby that are coming closer let's see if we can't uncover them uh big time right here what's going on here oh we do have another city right here can i actually go into the city i can't okay so what shall i do right here boys i should just probably be going to the north even further yeah so this is the other city that we uncovered it's near the sea as well so we know that their main uh, capital is right there uh, how many cities do they have they've got uh how many five five cities right so there's three of them there's probably two more right there Babylonia is probably taking care of that business. There's probably a big war going on right there while I'm going from this side. We're going to destroy this city right here, take it out big time and uh, hurt them. And afterwards, I'm probably going to move north, uh, sit in, or I'm just going to move directly here just to see what's going on right there. Help out our Babylonians, regroup, have a big army together and uh, march on, I guess. All right, in the next year, boys, we're continuing our uh, full-on assault. Uh, they attacked me a little bit, but I'm really good. I mean, this is, which army is this? This is my queen's army. So it's really strong. My queen's army versus their king's army. Uh, they did kill my uh, scout that was right there. So RIP my scout. I just lost him. Right? But that's fine because we're doing so much of a good job, boys. I don't care anymore. Like, we're literally going to destroy these guys. Are they actually in the city right here? Can I actually... There we go. Finish them off, boys. With my Slingers. We're actually attacking the city right now, big time. Uh, slingers, go back here. There we go. Bombard the city, boys. Now, this uh, the unit, I can't destroy the unit. Because it's basically protecting the city. It's sieging itself. It, we're, we're sieging the city right now. That's what we're doing. So let's go ahead and get these guys there start attacking big time all right we defeated the city the king's army is dead uh, i don't know if the king himself is dead though i don't think so. I, I, I doubt it let's see what we got so we did level up i feel i think uh we can promote our units now that i think about it uh it would be great to do that uh we already have plenty of options right here let's just do focus maybe tracker urban actually now that i think about it we are uh, we're going to do besieger because we have the urban stuff going on so we're going to wait one more turn this turn uh, this city is going to fall big time they had they stood no chance against my uh, my army uh truth protection over nikia it's done now i definitely think i want to go for jewish uh the jewish side of things so jewish disciples boys let's get that uh right away all right, let's get that thing. Epics or exploration. We got a new uh, things to to see. So let us share our own stories, which would give us plus ten culture per unit kills. Since we're at war, it could be pretty good. Exploration though, move in bo become bonus along neutral river. Scout for for so it's bonuses for the scout. I'm gonna do exploration. There we go. Much better for me. Uh, I, at least I think so. So that's uh, that's one thing done. We do uh, still have this guy trying to uncover as much as possible, really. Like a, a land site or anything. Really, anything at all. I cannot figure out for the life of me a city site, boys, that I could settle in. That's the thing. You can't just... It's not like civ uh, civilization. You can't settle anywhere you want. You gotta actually have a city site somewhere. Uh, available to you and uh, now that could be uh the one that we could pick up on the north we should probably just move up on the north from then on because i don't think the south is going to have anything to us i need to uncover the south properly before doing anything rash so we do have still queen elena no children i don't think at this point they're going to have any children that's going to be a shame if it's the case they already have three children like literally they just had a son right there another son boys are really crazy she's kind of lasting long she's uh our, our original queen a dowager is lasting a lot longer than uh quincentine he, he died uh, our king died at uh, 64 years of age she is still there she's 65 so i mean that's a good thing 
Uh, we did the ambassador, that's right. Our ambassador died, right, a long time ago. I shook another one. All right, into the next tier again. Let's see what we got, boys. I think we're gonna probably have a chance to take out in this turn the city. I forgot uh, about the fact that uh, it was year 42, so I was a, I can uh, basically research somebody or get anything I want, which I should probably use to get coinage right away. So I'm gonna use that, boys. Game editor. I'm gonna go for text right away, and I'm gonna go for coinage. Or now that I think about it, instead of coinage, I could probably just get... I'm gonna get myself the Pentheon, boys. Why not? Let's get ourselves the Pentheon right here. And uh, actually get it. Now, I, before I get it, I do have the Oracle right here. Do I have anything right here? I don't think I have anything in Adrenopole. I have the Angen Gardens. Right? Is that, uh, is that what it is? Yeah, right here, the Angen Gardens. So it's only a general that I don't have anything. So I'm going to get the Pantheon uh, right there. Right there on the mountainside, boys. Uh, we are now known as the Architect. Oh, the Pantheon looks beautiful. Look at that. Right in the mountains as well. Beautiful emplacement right there. So that's uh, fantastic. Uh, for us, we really don't really too have too much to go uh, going on. I'm just going to continue with the farm, I guess. And... Uh, here, yeah, we definitely don't have anything uh, that we can truly do. I think uh, next up, we'll probably just build, uh, start building roads again. So we got a road connecting these two. I think uh, we, what we want to do is just, uh, I guess, right there, go right there, cut some trees, and we can start uh, adding some roads, uh, really. So hold on. If I just, because I think I need, what I need right now is that. Yes, I, I can add a, a road system right there, boys. There we go. Add a road system towards and connect these two cities together. Right there. That's all I'm going to do. All right. So you continue to bombard, really. Continue to do your fantastic job. Big time. There we go. Bombard the city, boys. We're destroying it today. There we go. Finish it off. And I think... Uh, my queen's army is going to be able to uh, finish it off right here. So, uh, so yeah, we got a, uh, another guy, basically a merchant that uh, decided to join the court, which is good for us. It's better for our children. It's going to help them grow. So aside from that, really nothing. Can I do anything? What do I do with this city itself? It's in complete anarchy right now because I am uh, basically, it takes three turns. So it's going to take them three years to figure it out. It's not that much, but I guess I can keep my uh, queen's army over there and heal her up afterwards. I could probably do that, boys. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm just going to leave my queen's army right here and uh, she'll have to stay by. I don't think I can do anything with this city per se. I, I, I thought I could probably destroy this city. I didn't want to take it for myself. I could probably just give it to Babylonia then again. Give it to Babylonia and they give, give me a lot of stuff in exchange, probably. So I think we're going to just end up doing that, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.